Ah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, today is December 21st, 2010. <clears throat> and I just wanted to make a little update on some recent silver purchases. Uh, the last one I made was uh, some Stadium Walker, Walking Liberty Quarters. And I had just recently purchased oops, uh, Cadia Maple. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of glaring. There you go. It's really nice. You notice that the face value of this Canadian Maple is uh, $5, whereas the U.S. Silver Eagles are face value is only $1. So that's good to know. Um, and I uh, also notice this is four nines fine silver. Now the, the other purchases I made, which were two, yeah, let me two of these uh, Mexican silver libertards or libertads. I'm sorry, I don't know why I call them libertards. Um, Let's see if I can try and get this a little closer. It's really nice. It's pure silver, fine silver. Got the design on the back. I don't even really see that. That's uh, the Mexican eagle on there and a bunch of other other eagles in several positions along with it looks like a coat of arms. <clears throat> So, I bought two Mexican Libertads and one Canadian Maple, and I also purchased, so I really don't want to touch with hands, but I got this from MomSilverShop.com. It's about 31 tenths of an ounce fine silver bullion. Uh, to give you a little comparison, those of you who have like one tenth of an ounce gold, slightly smaller than this US dime. So, uh, anyways, uh, mom sent me, not my mom, but from momsilvershop.com sent me some white gloves, cotton gloves, to hold my silver, silver bullion with. And, uh, let me see, uh, I'm in trouble. Okay, let me get this camera up a little bit higher. There we go. Uh, you won't be able to see this because it's pretty blurry. But this is DNQs. This is the one tenth ounce uh, pure silver bullion with DNQs Indian head, and on the back is the wheat scent logo. I gotta upgrade my my Logitech webcam, <clears throat> and here is a regular US dime compared to this. So, as you can see, it's slightly slightly larger than the US dime. It's one tenth of an ounce, and I bought about 30 of these. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, dog here. It flies around because my dog shed a lot. Um. I went back on the website of Mom's Liberty Shop to purchase more of these. Because they're relatively inexpensive. They're about maybe $3 per tenth of an ounce of silver. And, uh, anyways, this NQ's Indian Head Silver Bullion was the only one they had, so I bought it. But the other ones, the other 29 or so, are the Standing Liberty ones. Kind of make it out a little bit right there. Just really nice. Seems like a, a, a fine finish on the front, and also again with the wheat symbol that you would see on the older Lincoln pennies. 
But yeah, uh, she no longer has a one tenth of an ounce. However, she does have links to, I think it was Golden State Mint. And I was going to purchase some from there, but you have to buy a lot, like I think 20 of them. And at $3 or maybe 100 of them. I can't remember. It's, it's been about almost a week ago. And, uh, but you have to buy a considerable amount from them, which I didn't have the money. Because I wasn't going to buy a whole bunch more. I was going to buy maybe 10 or 20 more, one tenth of an ounce from my silver shop. Dot com. <clears throat> and, uh, but she was all out. And so now, as much as I like to purchase more one ounce silver bullion, which I think everyone should, not just to crash JP Morgan, but to trade bad money, which is paper dollars, for after good money, which is gold and silver. And silver being the poor man's gold, which I, I believe myself with uh, a lot of the precious metal experts out there that are talking about how silver is practically disappearing and there is now less silver available above ground than there is gold that is above ground. Like so, something like maybe 500 million ounces, maybe a little less compared to two, of silver compared to 2 billion plus ounces of gold. So that, that there, you can do your math. And uh, I think I, I heard on a Why Gold and Silver video on YouTube about how uh, gold, uh, at one time, the ratio for gold and silver was at one and one. I believe that's possible to happen again. Not only that, but I think it would probably reverse, maybe somewhere where silver to gold ratio would be one to five or one to ten, you know. One ounce of silver equals to five or ten ounces of gold. Because of its scarcity as an industrial metal and also as uh it's a monetary metal. So, uh, as you can see, I, I bought I bought these coins at bullyondirect.com. This isn't bad, but it took almost a little over a week for me to get my silver from them. Whereas mom's, I got I got I, know, I think it took about a week to get this from mom's. Also, a little bit more expensive at mom's when you buy uh, government minted coins and I think it's like maybe thirty six, thirty seven dollars for it. Chinese panda, forget about it. That's like forty two, forty three dollars for that. With good reason. Uh because, you know, the Chinese are now not exporting that much silver. Please forgive my hair. I was outside and I had that uh, one of those skull caps and it and it kinda messes up your hair a little bit. <clears throat> But yeah, a lot of people are saying that you know you should just invest in one ounce silver rounds or bars, and uh, that's a good that's a good idea. But I also believe that you know maybe things would get so bad that an ounce of silver is going to be so high where you will need fractional fractional amount of silver. Uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get junk silver where you can get old U.S. coins that are 90% silver. So we have to do a lot of calculating, I guess, on uh, on the merchant's part. Calculate how you know how much copper is in it with the with the silver with the older U.S. coins. Whereas if you get like a one tenth of an ounce of pure silver, or a quarter ounce of pure silver, or a half ounce of pure silver, that yeah, you wouldn't have to deal with all of those calculations, and it's a lot easier to take a let's say a, a thing of this which holds 50. Um, 50 of these, maybe a few, a few uh, one ounce rounds and uh, a few halves or a few quarter ounce rounds of pure silver bullion to uh, <clears throat> to barter with or to make purchases with. You know, uh, depending on your needs. Anyways, I still think that buying silver, which I've been monitoring lately on uh, Bloomberg, a lot of people would watch Kitco. And, uh, <clears throat> but I know there's like some kind of struggle going on with silver. And, uh, you'll see silver go down to maybe $28.50 and then go break past the 
$29, which right now, last time I checked, was at $29 and I think 21 cents. Where earlier today it was at 29.34. No, wait, 29.41. And uh, so you can see there's there's a struggle there. Uh, I guess uh, J.P. Morgan and a lot of other banks, Federal Reserve, are doing their best to, to drop the prices down to silver, which I'm sure they know by now it's a losing battle. I mean, the jig is up, you guys. All right, just knock it off. Anyways, uh, I thought maybe you'd like to enjoy that. Uh, this is all I have so far. I mean, well, I mean, I have a lot more silver. I have a couple of these, which is, uh, these are 2009s. Walk and Liberties. And I have a few of these, too, which is some more silver. In total, I have, uh, right now it's a hundred and about 105 ounces of silver. Uh, but like I said, because of the rarity and the scarcity of gold being used up in all the application of industrial use, which by now, I'm sure you all know about it, uh, silver is one of the best investments that anyone can make, especially now. I mean, heck, if I had a hundred bucks in my pocket, I would buy maybe two more ounces, possibly three. Uh, and, uh, Forget about it. Just store it up there. But considering that I'm in between jobs right now, <clears throat> uh, I do a lot of research and everything else like that. So not just in precious metals, but also in uh, commerce, uh, trust, contract law, maritime law, um, things of, things of that nature. And at the same time, I and uh, the house mom, or what was that called, uh, Mr. Mom, I'm the Mr. Mom. <laughs> well, my wife is out working, I'm home, and I keep the house clean, make dinner, things like that, of that nature, and also work for work. Uh, so yeah, so remember to buy silver, even get fractional silver. If you can't find, you know, pure fractional silver, I recommend getting the junk silver. Alright? Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this little video here, and uh, you guys have a great day.